I'm Frandon Barris. Have you ever wanted to learn to shred the notes? Cool. Awesome then. In this lesson, I'll take you from absolute trash to a full-on dumpster fire. So you can play with licks so, like this one. And with a little bit of practice, you can be right there playing along with the greats, such as, baby, don't touch that, it's not yours. I told you once, if I have to tell you again, it's not gonna be as nice as the first time. It's a contemporary Christian song. <laughs> and who could forget classics such as, mm -mm, not this time, <laughs> not for a third one. So if you're ready to stop being trash and absolutely horrible at everything you do, come on with me. I'm gonna show you the way to greatness. Now when first starting out, you may be discouraged, your probably fingers hurt, as they should. In the summer of 69, I played until my fingers bled. <laughs> Lesson one, the basics. I know you're probably all thinking, I just wanna play Sweet Child of Mine, and I, let me tell you what. <laughs> We're gonna get there, okay? First, you need to be in tune. Cause if you're out of tune, you won't be able to play a tune. A standard guitar is tuned to whatever the guy at Guitar Center tunes it to. Now that you're all in tune and ready to go, let's just jump into it. The basics. In the beginning, accuracy don't matter. It's all about speed and showing off how much you use your pinky finger. If you wanna play like the greats, you gotta fake it till you make it. And you're gonna fake it your entire life, most Likely. What I like to do is to press as hard down on a string with my pinky finger only as I possibly can uh, with enough pressure to cut cheese. And then with your picking hand, I like to tense it up real bad. Kind of like if your right hand wanted to paint your face, but your left hand won't let you do it, okay? And with those two combined, you're gonna get a little something like this. And I know people say it's not all about speed. It's about the groove, the funk, the, the soul. And I like to say, how are you gonna have a soul if you already sold it to the devil? And this is a little song I wrote, maybe you'll like it, I don't know. That's the ending. I'll, I haven't written the beginning yet. I start from the end, work backwards, which leads me into lesson two, songwriting. So you wanna write the next quarantine classic. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna take what we learned from lesson one, cut the cheese real hard and try to paint your face. And it's all about just listening. What sounds good? That don't. Good, that don't either. Okay, so now we know that those three things aren't gonna sound good. That's three less things we get to play. You get the gifs. And once you perfect all of those, eventually you're gonna add all them things together and you're gonna be able to play songs such as, that bicycle's too big for you, girl. <laughs> now you're gonna wanna start incorporating your other fingers. Now that you've nearly disabled your pinky finger, you can go ahead and focus on the, the three main ones, okay? In guitar terms, these are called your fingers. And you could play just about every single song with just these three fingers, okay? Such as, did Bumblebee bite you there? Or was that like that? <laughs> There's laughter in the title. That's what the song's called. It goes a little something like this. <laughs> To incorporate your fingers, what you're going to do is just put them on the fretboard, wherever, don't matter. Uh, anything sounds good in threes. Things are made in threes. The God, the Father, the Holy Spirit, you know what I'm talking about. I sold my soul a long time ago, don't know what that means. See, it's such as this. That's a G suspended chord, or a short Jesus. Amen. You can put them anywhere, it doesn't matter. You can put them all on the same string if you'd like. One note's gonna ring out, that's what happens. Don't be stupid. Here's a little trivia to break you away from the lesson. Eruption by Van Halen was played all on one string. Yeah. He had no other strings on his guitar, just one. Played with his pinky the whole time. Amazing feet. I've seen better feet, but they were amazing. Lesson four, face it. There's a lot that goes into playing a guitar, okay? This hand and that hand. Also this hand, your face. Zoom in a little bit, make it dramatic. Your face. I'm gonna show you what happens when I try to play. Look out, that bus is coming quick without making faces and show you what it sounds like. Okay, now watch now I incorporate my face into how the song sounds like an actual song. <laughs> See, I told you. The face makes the man or the woman. Step five, I know we're moving a little bit fast here, but you can't put out a dumpster fire if you don't move quick. Have some fun, man. This one's my favorite part, because we get to have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna show you a little riff that I like to play from one of my favorite songs. But that stain was there when I bought it. Now 
Now I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, I'm done with these basics. I wanna learn something advanced. And to that I'd say, no, you're not ready. Hey man, that sounds great over here. On my end, you should keep practicing though. All right, now before I leave y'all high and dry and with playing habits that you'll try to break for the rest of your life but won't be able to, I'm gonna put everything together that we learned today. Face it, you're not that great. Try to paint yourself. Pinky cheese, have fun with it. You sold your soul already? And if you put all those together, you may actually be able to play Grandma, your gumbo don't taste good no more. Okay, one of my favorites. Thank y'all. In the next lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to reverse everything I taught you in order to actually play. Come on back now.